welcome to party of Dynasty Warrior 6. And seeing as how I'm not going to get anything better than what I already have despite playing this on several different difficulties, I might as well play the rest of these missions on easy. So with that said, I'm going to go on ahead and start the Battle of Chia P, but this time on Lubu's side. When you see, Lubu only has three objectives, uh, just like everybody else, but these are a little bit easier. One, have Zhang Liao and Diao Chan storm the castle. We just have to eliminate ten or more um, enemy officer units. And last but not least, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei must be defeated. Oh yeah, I didn't even show off the overview. You're not going to find this in the Musa because for some reason they're going to have a vocal overview in uh, the Musa mode. But in free mode, they'll have an overview of all of your objectives. So just in case you're wondering what they those were. We will drive off just, Liu Bei and take control of Shaopi. All you have to do is either look at the targets or look at the overview. Whatever the case, we you're starting your off with mind. the Battle of GFP. And all you have to do for the third target is to beat up as many officers as humanly possible, preferably 15. Now, if anything happens to Zhang Liao or Diao Chan before they actually get into GFP Castle, the first target is going to fail, but one thing must be addressed. Lu Bu is not invincible. And also, you will have to make sure that nothing bad happens to him. Even though, whenever you fight against him, Lu Bu is inspired and can more than likely kick your ass. That's the one thing I can't really stand about this game. They make you, Lu Bu nigh invulnerable, but yet, when you're on his side, Lu Bu is pretty much the same as just about everyone, except he has higher defense. And that's kind of a bad thing too, because Zhang Fei and Guan Yu are both inspired. So bear that in mind. Another thing you need to know is that Target 3 only has 15 minutes. There's no time limit on finding uh, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei and defeating them. But there is a time limit on breaking into the castle. Point is, whatever enemies enemy you don't defeat, defeated. the enemy officer, no, your ally officers will sometimes defeat. But here's the thing, you need to overall personally defeat 10 or more uh, units. And so far I've only defeated 3 if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure there was another one. Up, oh, make enemy that 4. Yeah, I forgot this to turn on my heroic. phone. I guess but, I need to pick up the pace. GFP Castle for not only uh, Guan Yu, uh, I should say, not only for Liu Bei, but also Cao Cao. You're practically trying to penetrate the castle and flood the castle so that Cao Cao and uh, Liu Bei could easily draw out Liu Bu. And this would be probably the only time that Liu Bu would be easier to take down. But, um,. We're playing the easier version, which obviously is Lu Bu, but this one actually can give you trouble. Again, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu are inspired officers, and if you aren't careful, those guys will more than likely take out your whole entire army. Now, once you're through taking most of the bases, Ooh, Chang Kong actually killed somebody. Okay. Well, once you're through taking most invasives, you're gonna have to lead your engineers to one of the two GFP gates. And once you do, you're gonna have to take out all the defense captains that are there. And I shall drive you back to actually have the engineers set up siege weapons to break through GFP Castle. Also, as soon as you come towards GFP Castle, Guan Yu will start his march, meaning you're going to have to intercept him, because once he gets started, he'll start taking bases left and right, and when he starts taking bases, 
um, Guan Yu will um, end up going after the main camp and also going after Lu Bu. Now, once he gets to Lu Bu, you don't want him to get to Lu Bu because a few swipes of him will even kill Lu Bu. So bear that in mind. I know I'm repeating myself over and over again, but it goes without saying, this game loves inspired officers. Hell, not even Seven had that many inspired officers. I... But Nine, oh god, Nine is littered with them. I just realized that. Nine is littered with them, but unlike Nine, Six, it truly matters exactly what level you are and what kind of weapon you have. Because you can either take these inspired officers down, like I'm about to try to do right now, or you're going to get screwed. And hey, I managed to freeze Guan Yu with this weapon because this is an ice embedded weapon. To be defeated by a lowly vagabond such as you. And with Guan Yu's defeat, that also makes Liu Bei rallying. And as a matter of fact, make him inspired. Oh god. Yep. And of course, Liu Bu just took out another officer. So, you're gonna have to try to break into both sides of the GFP castle within 10 minutes. So, you're gonna have to make sure that these defense captains are out of your way so you'll be able to siege the castle. At the same time, you also will have to uh, get rid of the enemy officers that jump over the gate and come your way. Pretty sure there's another one here that just showed up. Oh no, that was just a regular off. That was just a regular soldier. I might as well just go over to the other side because both sides, again, the east gate and the south gate has to be broken in order for you to get the target. Now, target two is going to be the problem. Again, Liu Bei is inspired because of Guan Yu's defeat. Alright, at least they're actually sieging through the castle. Let's just take out all the defensive captains before they try to break the siege weapons. And the durability is getting low on that end. Well, too bad you don't get red hair in this game. Sadly, that is, again, uh, Dynasty Warriors 6 Special. Oh, excuse me. That is Dynasty Warriors 6 Special, which, by the way, uh, red hair, I think, is only available once you manage to defeat Lu Bu. Uh. Oh, God. Oh! Damn you for breaking that ladder. Okay, I'll just go another way. Punks. Oh, wait. Somebody actually breached one of the uh, gates. And I think Wu Wu just breached the bottom gate. But Zhang Fei is not going to show up until after you breach both gates. Which I just did. And now, here comes Zhang Fei. You want to try to cut him off at the past. Because Zhang Fei... Oh, god damn it, Lu Bu! Are you that bitter because of part one? Seriously! But as I was saying, Zhang Fei will try to come after you. And come after Lu Bu. So it will be in your best interest to try to cut Zhang Fei off at the past before Lu Bu gets to him. Because again, Zhang Fei can end up being out of your sight, and you won't be able to see where he is. And if that's happened... Well, uh, how shall I put this? 
you won't be able to uh, see him go after Wu Fu, which more than likely he'll stop what he's doing and go after him. That is something that the AI tends to do whenever the enemy is the uh, main commander. And you might want to also be careful too, because Liu Bei also does that as well. Enemy officer defeated. Now then, we're gonna go in and we're going to take the base. This is where target two gets complicated. You're supposed to kill everyone but Liu Bei and take the main camp, then you kill Liu Bei. Or if Liu Bei happens to be the hundred that, or should I, yeah that's right, Liu Bei is an officer so killing him would actually make it a hundred so you will be able to take the base. But if you take the base, uh, before killing Liu Bei, that will give you a um, completed target right there. And I've already gotten like 280 something, and now all I need to do is just get rid of the rest of it. Now, um, be careful though, because Liu Bu and Diao Chan. Well, Diao Chan doesn't need to be alive, but Lu Bu, on the other hand, does. You, again, you can't just... Excuse me one second. Oh, wait, no, wait, I thought the phone was ready. Never mind. But you can't just ignore uh, Lu Bu, and if you do, well, it's going to come back to bite you. But I did capture the base, and now it's time to get rid of Liu Bei. Whew. That was close because he was actually taking a few hits on Lu Bu. Enemy but this will be the last time we'll have Lu Bu on our Your side. Let mine. alone the Take last on. time there we'll ever no be working with Lu Bu. And GFP is ours. I only know how to win. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen. We have finished the castle, although we're going to get the same amount of weapons we have. I mean, what we have right now is the best weapon we could possibly have at this point. Alright, we've got two skill points, and that means all we need to do is get up to level 50 for the remaining three. So, I just got rid of all those that I'm not going to need, and also... I powered up the horses to max. And with that said, folks, we are done here with Dynasty Warriors 6 Part 8. Next time, we'll be going to the Battle of Guandu. Yeah. This one may be pretty dark, but hey, at least it's not as dark as that damn maze in Yiling. So, I'll see you guys next time.